Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and welcome to what is going to be a massive, really important naval battle and a first test of brand new tech. First of all, sorry about my voice, I am sick as a dog but we've got to push on. We are back in the 7th of December 1941. Imperial Japanese Navy is attacking Pearl Harbor. By some feat of amazing engineering, we've shipped back a brand new 2020s US carrier group to get in their way and try and stop them. Now, we've done this before. In fact, we've done this three times. In October 2021, we tried it and we failed. A few days later, we did a rematch, changed tactics, and we had a draw. A week later, we tried it one more time with new tactics and we won. But all three of these attempts were with relatively low technologies. The missiles we were using were from the mid-1990s. The ships were from the mid-1990s. And a lot has happened in the last 25 years of weapon and ship technology. So we're running it again with brand new ships and weapons. So here is Guam pretending to be Pearl Harbor. 120 miles to the north is the Imperial Japanese attack fleet. In real life, they were actually split into two fleets, and I've joined them up into one big blob to make the video easier to watch. They have a total of 27 vessels, including six aircraft carriers. Aboard the six carriers are the correct amount of aircraft that took part on the attack, 353, all modelled. Of those, 100 today are going to be air-to-air, -air, 253 anti-ship. All are an A6M. In real life, they used three different aircraft for this, but just to make it more achievable, we're using a single hybrid aircraft. The anti-ship will have two number six bombs and a fuel tank. They will take off, climb to cruise altitude, fly 120 miles south, and try and bomb the US fleet. Then there are air, -air fighters to escort. These are just equipped with the cannon of the A6M. In real life, there were actually 200 nautical miles north, but we want to try and keep this less than an hour battle. So they're a little closer. They will take off at as close to the real launch rates as we could do. And the defending Americans. A modernized 2020s United States aircraft carrier fleet. Escort ships first. Two Ticonderoga CMPs. Each Tyco will be carrying 32 SM6 ER long range ground to air missiles, 45 SM2 MR missiles. 64 enhanced Sea Sparrow missiles and bristling with gun and radar. They also carry SM-3, but that will not be used today. And four, Arleigh Burke Flight 3, each carrying 24 SM-6 ER missiles, 32 SM-2 MR missiles and 64 ESSM, giving the escort fleet a total of 160 SM-6, 218 SM-2 and 384 E. SSM. Then we have our carrier, Nimitz class playing Gerald Ford class. Aboard her, three squadrons total, 72 aircraft. First squadron, 24 F-35C. Air to air, firing at max range with the orders to RTB and land once they've used all of their long and medium range missiles. So you shouldn't be seeing any AI on AI dogfights today if they do what they're supposed to, but you never really know each equipped with optimal murder loadout. In fact, murder is no longer really the word with these new weapons. I think you need serial killer loadout. 16 AIM-120D. These missiles are in service at the moment, and United States has about 2,000 of them. Range about 90 nautical miles. Squadron 2 FA-18F Super Hornet, 24 or Serial killer loadout. 16 AIM-120Ds and a fuel tank. Same rules, fire at maximum range, RTB when they fired their missiles, no gunfight. Finally, anti-ship, one squadron, 24 Super Hornets, with four AGM-158C Larasm stealth anti-ship weapons with a range of over 200 miles, a couple of modern sidewinders for self-defense, and a fuel tank, and they are set to orders to patrol until they find shipping to shoot. Next, humans. Today we have Matrix, Simba, Cannonball, Violet, War Dog. Say hello. 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 Uh, you start 10 miles behind the carrier. You may respawn. If you run out of weapons, you may not respawn. You must first fly back home to your carrier to simulate URT being. Once you're above the carrier, you may despawn and respawn. You can either be F-35, Serial Killer Loadout, or 
a Superbog serial killer loadout. Two AWACSs are present here and here. And that is today's modernized 2020s United States carrier fleet. Predictions. We've tried this battle in 1990s spec and the Americans actually struggled quite a lot. Their weapons just got overwhelmed by 353 is a lot of planes. It's a lot of planes to confuse your senses. However, more modern radars in the ships, more modern missiles with much more range and much more intelligent than the Corge missiles, more modern air to air missiles, more modern aircraft. Give me a prediction, guys. It should be fairly straightforward for the Americans. I think if any of the Japanese get through, the missiles and artillery from the ships will just chew them up. Stand by for a really big fight. All right, valued viewers, 2025 US carrier group with all the new stuff we're going to test versus Imperial Japanese Navy, Bo Harbor, attack fleet. Send it, Simba. Hope my voice lasts. All right, starting off with a squadron of F-35Cs, 24 of them. There we've got modernized Flight 3 Ali Burke. There, we've got a modernized Tycho. And the first, look at them in serial killer spec. Cap about to buzz the carrier. Yeah, watching. Bad reviews, if you're wondering why they don't take off the carrier, they conflict with the AI and stuff stops, stops working, so it's just easiest if you do it like this. Best for everyone. Things we've learned along the way. Lots of things we've learned. Yeah, right, you are unleashed, guys. Go and do things. Oh my god, is that missile up? It is! Missiles up already! What the heck? Look at that! What missiles are up? We have SM6 ER, range 130 miles. I haven't even looked at the Japanese yet. Okay, a whole bunch of SM6. They've assessed the threat, they've sent the SM6s up. Let's go and have a look at the Japanese. They are only just taking off, that is so funny. Would not want to be Japanese. Real life, these ships will probably be closer together. Again, I just didn't want to build this mission from, from scratch. I didn't want to risk anything not working, so I've spaced them out a few miles each. Pretty cool, huh? Lots and lots of aeroplanes at sea. So, 353 fighters are up first to give uh, fighter screen cover. What a sight, huh? Not too different to how it would have looked over 70 years ago. So, I don't actually think they had zeros in this. They had cates, they had vowels. What else did they have? I've forgotten. They had the vowels, the cates, and zeros. Oh, they had zeros. Right, okay. Well, there you go. We're just missing the vowels and cates. In. Will it make any difference? Not really. I mean, if we were actually starting to bomb ships in the harbor and stuff, the simulation would matter. As far as this simulation here matters, it just matters really that they are a World War II plane. They can go about the right speed. Ah, speaking of which, this is actually new. This is a new updated model of the A6M. Uh, whoever you are who made it, let me know so I can credit you. It's got its own flight model now, which is going to be more similar to an A6. Because you can see, look, in fact, look how slow it's going. That's because it is now an A6. Last time it was actually a P51 with an A6 model. So it was going stupid, you know. Simba uh, Fox 3. Really? Wow. That's ambitious. Simba is 84 miles away. Yep. That's within threshold of the uh, uh, A120D. Bang. Amazing. It's also worth bearing in mind that the Japanese have no idea about tactics against missiles, so they'll be sitting ducks. Well, that's going to be a really interesting thing. I've removed their RWR, radar warning receiver. I know this sounds stupid, but all planes, even World War II planes and DCS, have a radar warning receiver. I've removed it, and so I'm hoping they won't try and dodge. However, core game of DCS, you know, World War II planes aren't really designed to fight against missiles. So they may still and magically detect the missiles and go and try and dodge them. I don't know. This is untested, so we'll have to see. My guy's sending out order AIM-120s. Oh, it's just too much to watch. Just going to have a look at the um, US fleet. Pumping out their SM6s, look at that. They're really clever how we've made these SM6s. They assess the threat, and they've assessed the threat as high, probably just because of the amount of, uh, of planes that are in the air. They just see lots of them coming this way. That's a big threat, so send all the SM6s out. It's quite clever how it all works. My guys are now... 55 miles away, let's have a look at the Japanese. Blissfully unaware. Look how many are up. 353 beautiful A6s. How many are in the air at the moment? Mm -hmm. 40? Ships, they've got four, uh, four funnel cruisers at the front. They've got uh, two and one funnel uh, blah, 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 destroyers. A couple of frigates and six carriers. Are they the right kind of carriers? Not really. In fact, one of them is. The others aren't the type, right type of carriers. Try to generalize to make it a bit more efficient. Look at those dots. Can you see all those dots in the sky? Cool, huh? Oh, the first missiles are coming. Uh-oh. Just supersonic. 
Oh, we got a miss. The very first missile is a miss. How about that? Oh, it isn't. <laughs> first zero down. Got a counter at the top there. We've got amazing plans for this counter as well. You won't believe what we've got coming up. Getting it all to work is a thing, though. Bang. Oh. Yeah, these now, these missiles, if you're wondering, oh, why are they so accurate? That's cheating. These are actually Fox 3 type missiles. They've got their own radar guidance in them. So they use ship, the ship radar and the AWACS to get near the target. Then they turn on their own radar and seek the target. We're not used to that. And in fact, it's the first type in game uh, that we've got that with this new type of tech. And that's why they're so freaking accurate. But the only thing about that is it means that there's always a chance of friendly fire. Because they will don't be a, they can't distinguish between friend and foe. So Mental note, guys, when SM6s are going to be in the air, don't be dogfighting. Pang. 13 risings down, and lots more. Basically, as soon as they're taking off, pretty much, they're getting hit. Oh, here come the M120Ds. Are these going to track? First M120Ds going in. Yep, one now. Yep, and another amazing technology. Look at this. 2025 tech is apt the difference to how it was before. Last time we had M120Cs, which should go, go about maybe 30 miles in these configurations. Order X Fox 3. We're now firing missiles that can go nearly 90 miles. So there's such a difference in kill factor here. The Ryzen's haven't got more than. Simba Winchester flying home. 10 miles away from their carrier yet. I don't really know what to look at, to be honest. 19 Ryzen's down. You know what's working? They're not dodging, that's great. So the, removing the RWR has worked. They're just flying straight into the missiles, obviously, as they would. So little bits of tech we're improving each time, viewers. Oh, you kind of have to feel sorry for them, right? Everything working perfectly so far. We are getting, I don't want to push my luck, but we are getting so much better at setting these things up. through blood and sweat oh look at no there's always a little delay like that because there's internet latency and there's a lot going on on our server in fact you probably will start to see a lot of lag coming in soon for obvious reasons now here's a really interesting thing <coughs> sorry there's no more sm6s have is that because they've run out no it's because they've assessed the threat i'm pretty sure i mean oh here, here come more they assess the threat as they go and what they've seen is that these are not a threat at the moment probably because there's so many of these a120ds on but now the a120ds have stopped They've assessed the threat, seen the threat, and have started pumping out SM6s again. It's really cool how he's programmed that. So he's tried to program the little humans in the centers in here, in his ships, making the decisions about the threat, um, which is going to be the biggest you know, amount of testing. We've got a lot, a lot of testing to do in multiplayer now to make sure it works. Viewers, so, you're going to see a lot of explosions today. Well done, you lot. Look at you. You've all done your job just like they asked. You fired missiles. You didn't get into stupid dogfights. There's no way an F-35 would try and get in a dogfight with a World War II plane. There's just no need. And plus, even if you did, uh, a, a modern plane wouldn't do very well in a dogfight against a World War II plane because of mismatching, aerodynamic mismatching. They would fly, they fly too slow and you'll just end up stalling. I don't even... I don't even know if we're going to get a second volume. I don't know, even know if you're going to... There are a finite amount of these, remember? There are only... Break, let me check my spreadsheet. There are only 160 SM6s in this entire fleet, remember? And there are 353 aircraft. 45 down so far. Yeah, but the AI is just yeah. unloading. Well, get back home, then. Get a new one. And chop, chop. This tech makes such a, so many more A120Ds coming out from the guys. All I can really do is sit and watch all these kills here racking up. Look at all that explosions. That's mental. Oh, just falling out the sky, look. Wowie. Hard. I don't think a single one's got 10 miles away from its carrier yet. Look at that. That is what they see. Think of the morale. Think of the morale of these guys taking off. And all you've got is a wall of smoke and fire. And look, some cons. That's my guys coming in. That's my guys coming in right there. They see these big cons. That's my guys turning around after they've fired all their missiles. What are these Japanese from World War II thinking right now? I suppose they don't give up. If they look like they're flying around like crazy directions, it's because they're forming up in their formations. We've got new AI um, allows them to form up in the formations, so they'll fly around a bit. And, you know, 66 out of 353 down. 
and a lot more to go. Let's have a look at the SM6 situation. Plenty more coming out. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure everybody was uh, pretty surprised that they didn't give up after the shelling of Iwo Jima as well. Yeah, they were pretty crazy. I mean, that's one of the reasons they do so bad is they did refuse to give up. I mean, tactical withdrawal was part of war, you know? They just refused to give up and they did such heavy losses. It's stupid. Look at this, viewers. I don't see this anywhere else. Look, there's a little pilot there. Oh, there's loads of little pilots. Look at that. Look at the pilot. I'm probably not going to make it back to the carrier. All right, well, go as far as you can and then you're allowed to respawn. Those cons, or well, they just see those cons and they just know it's an F 35. Oh, well, the first AAA's gone up. Look at that. Wow. Let's have a look in the overview, see what's going on. Oh, look at this. And if the, oh, the AI is up. Right. We've been so concentrating here, we haven't seen the AI. It's just charged into dogfights. That's weird. You know what? That's AI, I'm afraid. What's probably happened is they haven't managed to shoot anything because everything keeps dying before they've fired their missiles. So they've kind of been an AI and just run straight in because they don't know what else to do. Now they're probably turning oh, they, into a dogfight. Oh, the AI not. is racking up the kills. 85 kills. They've got themselves in weird, stupid dogfights. Look, well, there's so much we can do about that. Although, plus side, they are actually dogfighting properly, though. They're extending at 500 knots rather than, you know, doing what they used to do, trying to, trying to turn. Now here's a really interesting thing, viewers. It's actually very dangerous because what you're gonna get now is SM6s locking on to those, not Raptors, what are they, Lightnings? This is gonna be really weird how this pans out now. Look at all these AIM 120s. These are AIM 120s from the AI. I was wondering where they were all coming from, right. This is the squadron. Pang, AIM 120, pang, AIM 120. Jesus. They yeah, just go yeah, in. They're taking off, getting into cons, and just unloading. Yep. Oh, that's what they're programmed to do, viewers. They're programmed to launch all 16 missiles and then turn around and go home. 92 kills. Oh, man. They're now flying within the carrier group. 96 kills. They've now got absolute domination, including within the carrier group. Now, will these guns fire at them? I'm not even sure if they will try and fire at a 600 knot target, to be honest. The gun sights aren't set up for it. There are limits set in game at how fast they'll fire at something at. 100 kills! How about that, guys? It's obviously if too I much was, to watch, uh, so we'll just sit here. If I was the AI commander of the carrier fleet, I'd be putting uh, air, to, uh, air to surface, either missiles or laser guided bombs on my jets now. Yep. Note how. Really note how not a single American's been shot down. The uh, respawns my guys do won't count as a death, so you know it's scoreboard. It's good to see that the uh, dogfight capability of the planes have got sorted out as well. They're not going around 200 knots anymore. Look at the M120Ds just pouring in. Look at that. Now, though, like I said, there will be friendly fires going on now. These M120Ds as well not infallible, they will lock onto lightnings by accident. That said, none have died yet. Which is amazing, to be honest. Probably more luck than anything. Oh, look at that. I think the Zero has a bigger radar cross-section than the Lightning, so yeah, oh, the massive. aim one would probably go for those. Yeah, huge radar cross-section. World War II were very unstealthy, obviously. Nice big fat radial in, engine in the front of the mm -hmm. airplane. Yeah. 120 down. <laughs> have any of my humans managed to have a second life yet? Yeah, Wardogs, so I, I have a second one. life. I'm about to be on that second life. Just got to fly over the carrier. Any more? The SM6s have stopped. I wonder if the SM6s are worried about shooting their own guys down, and that's what they've stopped. Uh, we just had one go down to a SM6 ER. Oh, it didn't count. Uh, it didn't count as a kill or death. Maybe friendly fire. Maybe friendly fire's not on it or something. Don't know. Everything you're seeing here today is very much work in progress, and that's why we're testing it today. Duly noted, Simba. We're going to spray off those A120s. Serial killer mode the, gives them 16. But the US fleet commander's sitting there thinking, I don't need to waste my uh, shit-based missiles. Yep, right. Which are very expensive missiles. Pilot, 
the second one. Well, at least we know not a single American has died yet to hostile fire. Look at these missiles, they just charge in, just all of them. Would these planes really be equipped with this massive loadout? No, not at all. You wouldn't even have enough missiles aboard the carrier. But we figure as long as we do both coalitions to their maximum thing, you know, it kind of equals itself out and hence we allow it. Still no SM6s, so I guess the, like Matrix said, the Admirals have decided there's no threat at the moment. Oh, they're getting killed before they even... <laughs> like I managed to notch a missile accidentally. Oh, look at this, finally a dog... I can see. Yes! Ah, he's gone weird. Look, this is what I hate about uh, DCS AI. He's gone into a panic loop and just flies around 160 knots until he gets shot. I'm not going to do about that, I'm afraid. Finally, we might lose one. I've got a question, Cap. Is it possible for these uh, M120Bs to lock onto a ship's radar signature? No, I don't think it's possible to do. Yeah, either specify as an anti-ship missile or an air-to-air -air missile. Um, you can't do both, if you know what I'm saying. Because I know what the Phoenix is, I've been able to attack. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. I, I don't know how they did it. They must have access to something that we don't have. Simba starting to put in more kills and Winchester Simba. flying back. Oh, it's got just notched a missile back. Mm. Kills are drying up. 100, no, not 148. Oh, one of them's coming to land. One of the um, anti ships has bottled it and it's coming back to land. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, Fuck right? Oh, no. We're going home, guys. Who can blame him? He's just seen a wall of absolute misery in front of him. 151. 151, guys. What was it called? The Marianas, the Great Marianas Turkey Shoot. I believe that is yeah, what we're seeing cool. here. They destroyed like, literally the whole Japanese air force in one sitting. And basically, that was the end of Jap Japanese after the Marianas Turkey suit shoot. Can you imagine the search and rescue operation that would go down with them? Right. Say if the Japanese had like search and rescue helicopters, how many how many hours they'd have to be searching for these pilots? Well, would they would they even bother with their imperial honor code? Probably not. You got shot down into failure. Expected to commit harakiri or whatever it is. Oh man! Right. How things have changed. Look at these two. We're fighting the weird, weirdest dogfight ever. And this is what only happens when you see it. We get an AI failure. You get this happen. That said, it's the only AI failure we've had today, so that's not that's not freaking bad. I don't know, Cap. Look out there at Saipan. I think we have a defector. Ha! Huh, what are you doing? That's an expensive airframe. Bring it back. <laughs> All right. Have you brought? To land at the carrier? Yeah, but they've obviously been stupid. Got two gas by the looks of things. Two AI failures. Ah, AI, uh, the second squadron's now up. The serial killer uh, murder hornets are up. <laughs> Woo Look at that. He gets to 40,000 feet, he shoots his load off, and that's it. We're at a point now where they're not really even taking off. They've got, they're getting one mile away from the carrier. Yeah, yeah literally, they're making it a couple of hundred feet now away. And that's it. But you know what? One thing I've learned from this um, is that don't write them off because 353, if you go back and watch the older videos, they completely stripped the Americans of everything. All of their SM2s were gone. Everything was gone. It just so happens we can arm you know, the new missiles here are much more accurate with much better radars, much better PKs, almost 100% PKs today. Looks like we have another AI F-35 going in to join that furball. Oh, we won his... No, he doesn't. Yeah, look at that. Funny. I think the AI is short of gas and just diverting. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Be nice if they... Fox 3. 190 down. Oof. And we're down to... We're 31 minutes in. God, that's gone quick. That's really gone quick. We all have to celebrate at 200. Have to celebrate at 200, guys. Celebrate that turkey shoot. Hey, an A6 notched a M120D. Fair play, my friend. 197. 197. 199. 200. 200. 200 Japanese down. And still none of them have made it further than five miles from the carrier. Let's see if any anti-shipping is coming out yet. Check the carrier, make sure everything's operating. No anti-shipping yet. 
24. Make sure he's not gummed up. Come on, take off. Mordogs Fox 3. Right, they're all taking off. At what point with the Japanese commander, having seen all of his aircraft get no more than five miles away, right? at what point did he say, sod this, we have to, we have to withdraw, otherwise we, we're going to lose everybody? Do you know what they were like, though? They just went into the end, didn't they? It was one of the major philosophical problems they had. Not all the time. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. there, there was some very, very cunning uh, feints and things like that, though, especially... Uh, like Hula Gold. Well, even Pearl Harbor, if you think about it, they didn't launch the third strike because they were afraid of the American carriers they hadn't spotted. Fair play. Like, they're not stupid. It, it's just... There, there's a limit to the philosophy and branching into stupidity. And I think that's where the limit is. I don't think they they continue keeping people launching the aircraft. Like a missile hitting a ship. Yep, missiles have started hitting the ships. Uh, appears I was wrong, Sock. And what that's probably going to do, I wouldn't be surprised now if that guy has got stuck on the ship and there'll probably be no way of ungumming it. Uh, limits of DTS from Freight Valley Viewers. If one of these guys gets to get on the ship, that's it. They will stop taking off. There's only so much we can do to control it. That's a shame. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's, he's down there. Look. Yeah, he's stuck on the end. He got hit. Oh, that's annoying. In fact, he's even jumped out. He's not in his cockpit. Huh. Like, oh, and so these guys are all gummed up, look. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, literally zero we can do about that. In fact, we could get War Dog. Box four. Oh, War Dog is, of course. Uh... Oh, the AAA. Look at the AAA. This is when the server freaking crashes. Go, War Dog. War Dogs, can you lock the server ships? I will give it a shot. No, he won't be able to with the FC3. How's the surface server coping? Look at that, look at that AAA. Hundreds and hundreds of cannons firing this guy right now. I'm just ball sighting the missiles into the time. Yeah, I'll do that. But I I can lock War Dogs. How embarrassing for you, War Dog. No blue losses, that seems odd. Yeah, it must be bugged to scratch it. But yeah, at least the red's working. So I was going in for my guys. It's violent, 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 violent. Go on, violent, violent. Oh, whatever words. Show us your magic. Hey, Violet's been shot down. Look, finally, it does work. There's a kill. Violet's been killed. I think it only only does it if Violet. If God, I can't speak to that. Only registers if a friendly. Sh Ugh, God, if a hostile shoots <laughs> physically shoots them down. And she physically got hit there by... Because a lot of you have just kind of ran yourself into the sea, so it probably doesn't count now. And I asked for that, because otherwise you'll get death every time you respawn. Yeah, unfortunately I wasn't getting any of them on radar, so I had to get up there and use foresight. Yeah, probably all notching and doing stuff. I don't know what to watch. What am I supposed to watch? Humanoids, things, words and stuff, I guess. Well, some is still taking off. There's 232 down. Only 120 to go. I wonder which carriers are gummed. I suspect we're going to get more and more gummed up carriers now that uh, they get damaged on their carriers. It's kind of annoying, but... There's still stuff taking off, look. The match continues. Look at that. Look at that sight. Look what we've made. It was shaking bake, and I helped. I'm Timber Wimber. Very proud of you. I can see the shells being fired. You can see the shells do being we fired. Have, uh, do we have humans in there, in mixed with the, the boats? It's all mixed in. Just fire, Simba, it doesn't matter. Just fire. At this point, it's one giant Charlie Fox truck. Send the A-10s. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'd love to redo this with A-10s. That'd be interesting. It wouldn't work out the way you think it would. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It, uh, yeah, it's it's odd. You think? Odd. You think? Because what, what what we thought was, oh, A tens. We'll just go above the World War Two fighters, right? No, A tens. If you load them up, won't go above about twenty, low twenties, thousands of feet, and those World War Two fighters will get up there, and they will just cut your corner. 
and they will shoot you down. It's actually an incredibly difficult thing to do. And the internet goes, hey, you're rubbish. Okay, you go and try it yourself, mate. Almost impossible. What if we tried boom and zooming with the A10? You just get shot down by this tree. You see now, I think that AAA is uh, a pilot. We have somebody using a jammer. God Lord saw so fit to give them a jammer symbol, Wimber. Look at this value views. I can sit and watch this all day. Think how many bits and bytes are going through the internet right now. Every one of those rounds, every one of those explosions has all been sent, cross-referenced, each of our clients. It's crazy. Yeah, if you uh, mistakenly to launch a AI F-18, they turn on their jammers. Well, if you lock up a friendly, you will get a box with an X in your HUD. There's a hole on fire. Yes, there is. Oh, he's, he's all fit to put it out. Matrix, look at that. Oh, he's going for a dogfight. Look at that. Oh, he's giving up. He's got all his missiles. Some of them just aren't firing today. Uh, almost certainly it's because, like I said, the targets, uh, you know, they're just dying before they get hit. So some of these will just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Some of these Hornets will just won't get to fire their missiles. I said these guys are about 20 miles out and they're just still rippling their aim on 20 ds in look at that and try and pause it there ah come on what i'm interested in next is the anti-ship see what's happening no still air to air coming in come on give us some everyone wants to see the orasm happen now look at these we're waiting to land because they're landing it's going to slow everything right down okay jolly rogers are up you see these jolly rogers they have got these larasm agm 158c first anti-ship taking off right now guys larasm this day is going to be painful for Japan. 100 risings to go. Simba, Winchester, third time, headed home. Looks like the ships are finally out of their missiles. We won't get to see a single enhanced sea sparrow today because they've only got a range of 30 odd miles. Let's see that guy. Somebody's using a jammer. Yes, we already called that out. It's because somebody shoots at an AI, they will turn the jammer. Right, anti-shippers are out now, guys. The Japanese are not long for this world. Oh, wow, look, there's loads of damaged just cruisers. Must be AIM-120s, tracking them, hitting them. Using uh, pilot lock-on mode with the Tomcat, you can lock on and fire AIM-54s, uh, both Alphas and Charlies. Um, and they, they they will take out up to the, you know, the uh, the inflatable rigids? Yep. Yeah, That's they'll take cool. those out. I wonder if there's history of them being used for that in real life. I bet there is. Oh, we just lost another Super Hornet. Yeah, I saw that, right? Someone got hit in a dogfight. And it's, no, it wasn't Friendly Fire, because Friendly Fire doesn't count. So it was, he genuinely got shot down by a Ryzen. 255 down, they're still taking off. I'm super happy with, uh, I, uh, you know me, I don't like to boast, but I've just programmed this. Reprogram this mission. I'm super happy it's work. You won't believe how hard it is to get all these triggers working. You have to spawn in the planes at set times, but because there are delays. In oh, plane ships are on fire. Ships are on fire, guys, and I mean on fire. Look at that. Wow. Now what's it? Must be aim on when he's been shooting them. Well, my missiles pit bulled a hornet. Look at that, guys. If can you see the frigates, the destroyers that are on fire? The coal, the oil bunkers have gone up. Can't hold my head straight, unfortunately. So. Look at that. That is going to uh, be intensified times 100 in a minute once these Larasms come. That is pretty much how it would be. Imagine how much smoke the oil bunker went up. It would be so much smoke. 270 down, only break. 80 to go, guys. Some of those will be bugs, so probably only about 50 to go. Right, any Larasms out? I hope the Larasms work. I don't even think they'll all get off because once the Larasms start hitting. Yeah, and Larasms should have fired by now, which just worries me slightly, but. It's going to try. It's very hard getting these huge games working. And you can't test them either. And you can't test them because they're, they run so slowly. You just have to hope you programmed it right and everything works. But we'll see. We'll see. No Lerasm's out yet. This guy's going frigging nuts for shooting everything. Pew! I am AI. I will shoot all of my load on your face. Came out wrong. War Dogs Winchester returning to base. Guys. Oh, fuel tank off. He's even dropping his fuel tanks on them. I fought in your general direction. Ready viewers, this is what freaking modern air domination looks like. 
In fact, this is what way over the top air domination looks like. Still no server crash, guys. Amazing. Okay, a third ship started burning. Oh, look at that guy. Got hit right there. Twice in the face. Achtung, Achtung. It's going to hit his own ship. Ah! Oh, these new damage models kick ass. Well done to A6M programmer, whoever you are out there. Do you know they're just going round in a circle and just... Oh, friendly fire, Violet! <laughs> we'll let you off. We'll let you off, Violet. Oh, Violet, you just hit one on a ship. Ooh, look at that. Violet just hit one of these on the ship. Don't know how she did that. Looks like they're definitely tracking ships, these missiles. Roger, I'm going to just check if it's gummed up. All right, we've got a gummed up carrier as well, so I've got to go and go, I'm going to go and uncum it, guys. And that human noise is where I put this in. Unblocker. I usually cut this out of the video, but I'll show you. Right, coming to one gum. Got to get some flight hours. Family viewers, I'm getting really terrible at flying these yes now because I never actually get to fly. So I'll take anything at this point. Oh, red so, on red. Wow, how? Just how? Uh, yeah, the boat killed the uh the plane. The riser. That's impressive. All right, unblocker F15 is here to solve all your blocking woes. Only viewers, they don't do this in the real navy, by the way. In case you're worried that they do. Woohoo! That's how you unblock a friggin' supercarrier. Did you see that snipe? Yeah. Ooh. Good job, Cap. Thank you. Yep. That was friendly fire, yeah. and that one counted. It's weird, isn't it? How that, that works. I kill registered. Yeah. I mm, don't know. Unspawn, knobhead. Don't make me get the unblocker out again. Someone want to get in the unblocker again. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's unblocked. Alrighty. You see what happens, Valley Fuse? They're going again now. Ha, ha, ha. Super He was the fourth member of this group here. I think the uh, Japanese Navy planes are gummed up now. Yeah, they will be, unfortunately. Because they've been damaged. I'd, almost certainly nothing we'll do about that, guys. Yeah, so these guys won't, didn't fire because they're waiting for their fourth member, who I've now shot. So they'll never fire. Uh, SM2 out. First SM2 of the game. Woo! But the new flight that's about to take off should... Pilot, are you just mad-dogging 120s into the deck? So, Pilot. I reckon we're going to get some anti-ship missiles out still. Still planes are taking off, guys. 292 down, 50 to go, plus a bunch of bugs, so probably 20 more to go. And they are still dying. Pilot, Winchester. 294. Smash. Smash. 296. Oh, look at that. Harpoon. Wow, these mass, let's see the distance between the carriers now. That's what's going on. The distance between the carriers has closed right down like two. 70 miles, and now the harpoons are firing. We've given up waiting for the uh, orasms. We're now just sending the harpoons out. They'll do the freaking trick. These are uh, lemurs. I know they say D. Don't worry about that. We just forgot to change the name of them. They are actually lemurs. They'll go twice as far as the old ones. Uh, which is cool. They get fired out of eight launchers on the back of each of Tyco. 16 in total. Ali Burks don't have them. It's just a Tyco thing. About to hit 300. And what I'm really. Gotta celebrate! Lorasm's out! Lorasm's are out! Woo! Finally! Ungumming the carrier. Look at that, Valley Viewers. That's a Lorasm. Is the fact it's stealthy gonna help it today? Nope. Oh, and these guys have forced to launch their Lorasm. So once his little mate got up, look, they've said, okay, we'll fire now. Right, we've got the world's supply of lyrasms and harpoons coming in all subsonic uh differences these are, lyrasms are much better than a harpoon much more expensive as well they have a thousand pound penetrator warhead these have a 500 pound penetrator warhead these have a small radar cross section these have a big radar cross section these go a bit faster as well these are transonic these are subsonic. Uh, we're just waiting for the anti-ship missiles now to pop in. If anyone wants something to do, go and strafe those planes, to strafe those risons on the carriers. Uh, you might even ungum them. Some really interesting shooting from Cannonball going here. I guess he's got bored. I have targets on the radar. Oh, we lost another you're shooting warning. Your, you're you're shooting missiles. your own Larasms. They're very expensive. Please don't do it. We need those Larasms. Ah, uh, yeah. They don't have transponders on them, so they won't show up as friendendly. Larasms are... 16 miles out. Interestingly, will the uh, Japanese ships try and shoot the Lyrasms down? Probably. They'll see them. Will they succeed? I have no idea. I've set these to free fire mode, these Lyrasms, so they will uh, they will find their own targets. 
uh, rather than going for pre-specified targets, they'll just go for whatever they want to go. Each one of these will sink basically any of these vessels. A thousand pound penetrator warhead will sink any of these ships. Some of these ships in real life, even the carriers, were sunk by non-penetrating 500 pound bombs. These are wooden decks, they're not reinforced decks. The bomb would pop through the deck, sit in there, blow up, and set off a chain reaction of, ker of kerosene and, not kerosene, you know what I mean, fuel and oil and other bombs and the carrier would just blow up. Same thing happened to uh, America, it was Yorktown, was hit by one bomb, blew up. Lexington. Yeah. Lessons were not very quickly. It's gone for a carrier, what are the chances? It makes its own decision, these Lara Adams make their own decisions. And they're not defending them. They're not defending, they can't get them. Too low, too fast. Oh, that's dead, that's a dead carrier. Absolutely beautiful, guys. One carrier, er tot ist. I think that was one of the ones that was gummed up. Nice, two destroyers and a bunch more going in. Pang, three funnel cruiser down. Again, a thousand pound penetrate warhead. It'll, it'll kill the ship, it'll sink the ship. Absolutely devastating, these Larasms. Simba's finishing some stuff off. Mad dogging. Pang. The devastation is palpable. It's worth noting that late in the World War II Pacific arena, the British Pacific Fleet, had, their carriers had armoured flight decks. Huh. Americans valued that because they were very tough and they proved to be much tougher than American uh, wooden flight deck carriers. Well, Jack, what, what class were we? we, we Colossus? What were we in World War II? I can't remember uh, Matrix. I've forgotten what we were. Uh, the British carriers in the British Pacific were formidable, illustrious, implacable, indefatigable, indomitable, victorious and the light carriers Colossus, Glory, Venerable, and Vengeance. Right. Yeah, and there was also a different thinking between the British and American navies. The British thought of a European power, which means more land-based bombers, which have your weapons, so they went with the armored flight deck, while the American and Japanese went with wooden decks because they were not facing long-range bombers from coast, from continental forces. Since I shot myself for 20 mil. Um... Huh. Impressive, Simba. One of our Lorazans just got shot down. Someone saw one. Carry it down. Hero down. An F-18 is coming up our carrier, so all of the AI on our side is just circling. Someone ungum it. Take an F-15 and ungum it. You're still in the plane cap. Huh. Out. So the Lorazans are going super fast. So why are they so hard to hit? Hitting some is sonic is real hard. These guys are supersonic, slow, ape, AP missiles. I just saw someone machine gunning a Lorazm down. No, and that, a harpoon down. The harpoons are getting machine gunned down. Is that realistic? Probably not. I mean, how, you know, with manual guns. Bang! Then he got through. Um, well, I damn near say the carrier, after getting shot down. Ticonderoga just killed a, a destroyer with a harpoon. Yep. Oh, look at that. The fleet's dead. Look at that. The fleet's dead. There's like four ships left. That, valued viewers, is what happens when you bring a 2025 spec US carrier group, modelled pretty dang well, in my opinion, to a World War II, the biggest World War attack, World War II attack. Most successful in history, pretty much. I'm super chuffed with that, guys. Look at who someone's gunning. Who's that? That's what we call a Fox 4. A really bad Fox 4, but a Fox 4 nonetheless. I I'm super chuffed, guys. That couldn't have gone any better. Everything worked, apart from a couple of AI, went weird. To be on and a couple of gummed up carrier incidents, which is going to happen, unfortunately, that's DCS. I'm, I'm really happy with that. It's, it shows us so how far we've come and how much work we've put in. Uh, you, my players, any comments on it? Piece of candy. Hmm. Yes, but went pretty much as predicted. Yes, it did, didn't it, Matrix? I hope you enjoyed that video, viewers. We've got lots more uh, modernized naval stuff to do as we slowly test this stuff out. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.